Hey guys, Handy Graham here. I was uh, reading a blog the other day. Um, my friend Jamie's mom, Gail, is uh, she has a blog called MyRepurposedLife.blogspot.com, I believe, um, and she repurposes a lot of things. And she's awesome at it. I actually affectionately call her Handy Gail when she's in town. Um, for those of you who know Jamie, she's the one who uh, whose garage I work out of. My shop is in there. But uh, anyway, uh, Jamie's mom got a or Gail got a. Uh, cutter that, that cuts through all kinds of things, but uh, she was using it to cut some glass and mentioned cutting bottles, uh, which is something that I've dabbled in in the past. So anyway, I'm going to go through a couple of things here today. I'm um, show you some show you some different tactics for doing that. A um, couple of things to remember when cutting glass, um, and I'm using my cheat sheet here. Um, you guys have all dropped the bottle on the ground and it doesn't break, which is kind of like, wow, I can't believe that didn't break. Um, Basically, when you cut glass, uh, anytime or if you break glass, the rest of the bottle is is a lot. I mean, if you would drop a uh, already halfway broken bottle on the ground, it's guaranteed it's going to break all over the place. Um, glass is kind of like a bubble that's bent into a shape. Um, if you nick a bubble like a bubble that some kid's been blowing in the air, if you nick it, it's going to pop it, because because the structural integrity has been compromised. The same thing with the bottles. So you have to be really careful when you're cutting bottles. Um, even even a clean cut is going to compromise the integrity a little bit. So once once the bottle is cut, you have to be real careful with it. Um, anyway, and another thing to remember is always be real careful with the stuff. Use use um, goggles. I probably won't use them on the first method because there's not a whole lot of chance of flying glass. But definitely on the second method, I'll show you. Um, gloves definitely. That's a must. Um, anyway, without further ado, let's dig in. Okay, so here you see I've got a, got a bottle. I've shaved the uh, I shaved the label off of there so we can get a clean cut on it. The, the first method we're going to use is a, is a glass score, the same thing that you'd use to cut uh, just a regular sheet of glass. Um, now, <laughs> because I had way too much time on my hands, I made this ridiculous thing. Um, it basically is set up so that you can wedge the bottle, and then I'll, I'll demonstrate later. But it gives it a clean cut because if you if you score. Uh, line and, and you only get one shot. It's got to be scored one time, and if you score it and, the, and they don't meet up, you've got an unclean, uh, unclean cut. So this thing is really rigid. It's totally static. It's really, I mean, it's not going to go anywhere. And I've got it. Um, I don't know. It's it's a pretty <laughs> kind of ridiculous contraption, but um, it, it's um, this this goes up and down. You can actually move this guy up and down. You can see the the butterfly bolts on the back there. But this goes up and down, so you can kind of put the put it where you want it to cut on the bottle. Um, you've also can pull these two by fours out and drop it down. So if I wanted to cut it higher or lower there, um, and I've actually made these little guys to wedge in here. I've got longer bolts to go in here, so that if you wanted to pop it out for say, this is perfect for this bottle because it meets it right in the middle. Uh, if I wanted to do like a wine bottle, I need to bring that a little bit more. Oh, Part of me. That would be uh, CeeLo Green on my cell phone. Um, anyway, so you can kind of see how it works. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate here in a little bit. So uh, keep stay tuned. Here we go. All right. So step one on this method is scoring. Um, anytime you score glass, you got to put a little bit of oil on the on the scoring blade. I usually put tons on because I just can't get a little bit on there. Um, typically, they actually sell a, a regular kind of. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put my gloves on while I talk. They sell a glass scoring oil, but I. Um, I don't have any with me, so I'm just using that's hydraulic uh, air tool. Um, I think that's what it's called, oil. So when we do this, the trick is um, it's got to stay flat. It's got to stay on the same line, and you need to put enough pressure on this. It's actually scoring. Um, so you can hear that it's. You hear that noise? That's scoring. And the idea is to keep it so that. The score line meets when it comes back around. Um, it's a pretty distinct sound, and you'll know as soon as you start running over an old score line um, because it'll it'll get a lot more crunchy like that. So I want to stop there, and we're going to move on to the next step, which we'll see in a second. All right, so steps two, three, and four for this have to be done rather quickly in succession. Um, step two is heat. Step three is cool, and step four is break. Um, now this is not an exact science, and I'm probably not going to get this break great uh, if I get it at all. Um, so this may not be the best method for doing it, but I don't know. It was fun. I figured it out a long time ago. Uh, it's one of those things I think if you practice, you get better at. But uh, So here's what I'm going to do. I've got this candle, and I'm just going to heat it up along the score line. Um, Good and slow, so it gets good and hot. Again, you want your goggles on for the, or um, your gloves on for this. And I should probably be wearing goggles right now. So um, 
wear goggles when you do this, but uh, I'm going to heat it up so it gets good and hot. Um, so what, anytime you want to weaken something, for example, glass, you heat it and then you cool it real quickly. So you'll see that I've got a big, um, <laughs> a big thing here of cold water. Um, basically, I just weakened the glass now. So the last step then is I'm going to break it, and I'm going to take the uh, fire out of the box before I break. Um, so this is a pretty good rigid cardboard edge. And uh, you can see we've got a good old broken bottle there. Uh, well, broken slash cut. Um, now granted, like I said, it's not a perfect cut. Um, and I'll show you how to trim it down a little bit later. But um, yeah, so anyway, that's what it looks like when it's, when it's broken. Um, so why don't we go ahead and we'll pause on that and come back to it. But we'll move on to step two, or the, the second method now.